What if I tell you that you can remove the background from photos without Photoshop? I wanted to create a short video to show you that you don't need Photoshop to cut out images anymore. Right now, let's go to this website where you can easily remove backgrounds. It's called Pixmiller. And with Pixmiller, you can just remove background from any photos without Photoshop. So maybe you don't have Photoshop or you don't know how to use it and you just want a quick way to remove background from photos. Now, let's try it out. So first of all, I'm gonna upload a photo here. Of course, you need to log in to do this. And the first thing to do is to upload a photo. And of course, I'm gonna try out a couple of photos. I have some photos here and a couple of them are easy and other ones will be a bit more difficult. So let's just start with an easy one. Let's see, an easy one would be something with like a background, maybe something probably like this dog here. Let's try this one out. So upload and it's gonna automatically remove the background. And we can also see how long this takes to get this done. This technology is also in Photoshop, but I'm guessing that everyone has Photoshop. So let's see how that works. All right, this looks pretty nice. So this is the original one and this is with the remove background. And here you have the option to download this without a watermark in full HD. So let's download this, download HD, and that's it. Of course, to download HD, you need some credits, but you can also download with watermark for free. The credits are pretty cheap, so don't worry about that. Let's try another one. And let's see, maybe you have another, let's try this cat here. This will be a bit more difficult, I think, because we have a bit more stuff going on here. And let's see how this works out with this cat here. Now, let's see. All right, this is really good, actually. This might be even better than in Photoshop. You can see here the... Let's download this so I can see this better. You can see the fur, it's gone really nice with this cat. And in Photoshop, you'll have to do some brushing here and there to get it right. So this is really good, actually. I'm surprised that it worked out so well. Let's try another one. Let's upload a photo and let's see, we have some cats here. Usually I don't wanna spend time in Photoshop on cutting out like, like trees and grass and stuff like that. You always need those things in composite. So this would actually be helpful if you wanna make like stuff like like composites, photo manipulation things, and you wanna remove the background from all these things. It's gonna take a lot of time. And you can see here how fast this goes. Now let's download full HD. I'm gonna download this one to see how it, how it looks. And I'm also gonna download the normal quality to see the difference here. So this is up to 640 pixels. And we can see here, it only has a watermark here. So you could actually just use it in Photoshop if you want to. And this is without watermark. It's a bit bigger. Of course, it's better. But this is also nice. So you don't even need the credits if you wanna try it out. One thing I would like to try out is some butterflies. I want to use butterflies in composites a lot of times and I don't want to cut about it. it's so boring always takes a lot of time so let's try a butterfly let's see where I have this butterfly drag a photo here I can just drag it here this is the photo so this is a butterfly with a flower and I want to see how this goes with this program this technology here you can see here this is really good I don't have to spend time on cutting this out you can see the before and after it even took all the little details. And if I download this in full HD, I can see this. I can see the quality here. You can see how good this is. So this is actually perfect cut out. And if I will do this in Photoshop, hold on, let me go into Photoshop and try out this in Photoshop to select subject. And you can see here, it is not as good as one that I created in this program. So this is the one from the program on the right. You can see here, it took even all the little details here at his paws or legs, whatever he has. And in Photoshop, it didn't do well. Also these parts here are cut off and some stuff here is not so well in Photoshop. So this is better than Photoshop actually to remove the background. This is actually without a background. It looks like it's the original background, but it's not. It's a PNG file, as you can see here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will put the link in the description to this great website. You can try it out for yourself and see how that works. And if you like it, you can buy a subscription or you can have some credits to create these photos. It's actually free if you do it without the watermark or with the watermark, sorry. 
in low quality. So those are actually also good to use for your projects. So thanks for watching and I catch you on the next one.